As a firefighter paramedic with the Anchorage, Alaska Fire Department, Steve Mendeve was passionate about helping people. He was also passionate about animals. And at the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center, he volunteered to save the bison. Steve was helping with the gates and up at the, with the veterinarians and doing a little bit of everything. Mike Miller founded the center. He says though Steve wasn't a veterinarian, his background as a paramedic came in mighty handy. All those medical procedures cross right over to animals. Wild bison were once nearly extinct here, but these conservationists truck them in 2,000 miles from Canada. The idea is to release them back into the Alaskan wilderness. But before that can happen, they're quarantined on this ranch and tested for parasites and disease. Today, volunteers, including Steve, are rounding up the animals in groups of eight, and there's a one-ton troublemaker in the bunch, a big male handlers have named bull number 34. Bob Stevenson, a biologist with Alaska's Department of Fish and Game, has tangled with number 34 before. He has uh, a lot of confidence and maybe some of the strongest running instincts and tendencies. Get the gate, Steve! Once the bison are inside, Steve and four other men try to move them into a circular chute that leads to the medical testing area. But the bison resist. Right here, Steve uses a long pole with yellow tape to encourage the bison to move. But number 34 doesn't like it. So both 34 gave plenty of, of signs and, and warnings uh, that he was not happy. 34 would paw the ground, growl, you might say, or, or huff. And then the final kind of alarm bell from bull 34 was tail raised. And bison only do that when they're going to charge or when they're going to defecate. And you, in either case, you don't want to be near them. One of the men wisely gets out of the way, but Steve stands his ground. For an instant, it looks like the bison just might go into the chute. Then number 34 stages a revolt. When he charged Steve, I didn't have time to be surprised. I didn't expect the animal to do that, but it was over so quick. The hump on the bison's back is solid muscle, and its skull is thick with bony sinuses that absorb impact. Combined, they make the bison strong enough to plow through six feet of snow and tough enough to catapult a 200-pound man nearly eight feet in the air. Go, get out of here, go! You okay, Steve? You want us to call? You okay? Back up, shut down, hold them both. You okay? Steve is able to get on his feet. Be careful. You wanna call somebody or you wanna bring him to the hospital? Hold on, I'm good. But his hand looks like it's covered with blood. The horn went four inches into Steve's leg. Though he puts on a brave show, in the end, he realizes he has to go to the hospital. The staff at the hospital had a lot of concern for the type of injury, a big animal, dirty horns, so they had to clean it out. You know, they left a drain tube in for a little while. It takes 20 staples to close up the wound. Steve misses about two weeks of work, then goes back to the fire department. But he'll never forget the day he faced down number 34.